DT! It's a red card! Where the goalkeeper is! You need to get some more money out, Robbie! Hello boys and girls, so Arsenal finally have a new manager, Mikel Arteta has officially been announced as our new manager. And before he's even started a game or even give his first press conference, there's a divide. And I'm just looking at it and I'm thinking, come on, seriously, is this where we're going to go? Is this how it's always going to be? I'm actually one of the positive ones. You know, we can have reservations about Mikel Arteta. It's a massive, massive gamble. It's a huge job. It's going to be his first managerial job. You know, it's all good working under Pep Guardiola and everything else. Um, when you look at the Manchester City side and when things are going so great as they have done. Um, but we've got to give the man a chance. Seriously, we have to give him a chance. How do we know unless we give him that chance. Yes, like I said, it's a huge gamble. We're going through a really, really tough transitional stage at the moment as a club. You think of some of the managers out there that were given chances and look how they've gone on to you know, manage clubs. You think of Ten Hag at Ajax. Everyone was talking about him. Even I've been speaking about him, but he was under Guardiola as well. Look at what he's done at Ajax. You think of Jose Mourinho when he was assistant to Bobby Robson. And look how he went on. You know, this is, you know, something that we've all got to get behind. If you're going to create a divide already, then how's the man meant to succeed? There's clear problems at the club. He's got to come in. He's got to be ruthless. He's got to make changes. Maybe get rid of some players that he doesn't want at the club or he feels that do not contribute to the football and the style that he wants. And we as fans have to get behind that. We have to support what he's going to do. You know, you look at one of the biggest problems under Unai Emery. There was the whole situation with Meza Ozil. Now, myself, I even said that Meza Ozil needs to come back into the side because you look at the performances on the pitch, it looked detrimental to the side. It looked like that we were missing creativity, that, you know, Unai Emery was cutting off his nose to spite his face. And... When you look at it and you look at the kind of performances that Meza Ozil was producing against Manchester City at the weekend, and you've got to sit there and say to yourself, maybe Unai Emery was right. Maybe that we should have all backed him a little bit more. And, um, you know, if Mikel Arteta decides, listen, I don't want this player. I don't want that player. I want to bring in this style, that style, etc., etc. Then we have to support that and we have to back it. Um, you think about what he's done at Manchester City. Now, over the last few days when there's been the talk of him coming in and everything, I've been speaking to Manchester City fans and the one thing that they said to me was to go and watch the Manchester City documentary on Amazon and it gives you a proper insight into Mikel Arteta as a person and what he's like behind the scenes. And the more you watch things like this and the more you hear from people within the game that know him, the more there's encouragement, the more I'm starting to really buy into the idea that he's going to be a good appointment. And like I said, don't get me wrong, it's different when you're at Manchester City and when you're assistant and everything else under what is one of the greatest managers in the history of football, Pep Guardiola. But to leave a comfortable position like he had at Man City, to come into Arsenal at the time you know, what we're going through at present says a lot about him as a person, um, his character, the fact that he's not scared to take on this challenge. And it is a challenge. It's a big challenge. And if it goes wrong for him, it could be detrimental to his future as a manager because people could look at it after this and go, well, you remember when he came in at Arsenal and it didn't work out? And, you know, so he's, you know, putting his reputation on the line. And it's a big, big step. And I'm all for it. And I'm going to back him 110%. You know, you get the usual mindless comments 
that are like, oh, DT, you'll be the first to start ranting and raving on AFTV the moment you lose a game and this, that. Listen, that's a cheap, bullshit comment. All right, let's look at the facts. When Arsene Wenger was manager, I backed him for more than 15 years. It got to a point where we were just going downhill and I had to go against it and I had to get change and I wanted change. What's wrong with that? But I backed the man for more than 15 years. You know, you look at Unai Emery. I backed him from the beginning for more than a year of his 18 month reign. I backed him. I supported him. I was always encouraging. So all these comments that within five minutes, shut up. Seriously, it's bullshit. It's weak and it's for likes. It's as simple as that. Um, and like I said, look, we look at Mikel Arteta as a player. He was, of course, at Arsenal. He's been at PSG, was at Everton. Ironic, really, that, you know, we've got Everton this weekend as well. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. It's, everyone's talking about, you know, let's go and get Ancelotti. I was never sold on the idea of Ancelotti. I think he's passed, you know, that place as a manager. Yes, he's won all these amazing things and he's a serial winner. But like Jose Mourinho, I think that their time has been and gone. I feel that it's more of the young progressive managers now. And we could be ahead of the curve. We could have that manager in a few years time where everybody wants him because he's unbelievable and he could change everything around. You know, there's talk that he was the, you know, number one candidate to take over from Arsene Wenger. And then at the last minute, Ivan Gazidis got cold feet and went with Unai Emery. You know, so that's a very interesting one. He's very, you know, clearly in the thought process and the minds of the club and everything. And I feel that maybe now with the Unai Emery situation, Arsenal have just looked at it and said, you know what, we're not going to miss out on that opportunity again. Um, and they've gone in there. They've got their man. And um, like I said, us as fans have to stick by it. Um, you think about some of the things that go on at Manchester City, the way that they play, a lot of it, is to do with the setup and the structure of Mikel Arteta. Um, it's not just Pep Guardiola. Um, Raheem Sterling, you look at the way he has changed as a player at Manchester City, a lot of that is contributed to the work of Mikel Arteta. Go and see for yourself. The people that know him and work with him are the ones that are speaking this. They know more than me, they know more than you, and all these people on Twitter that seem to be experts within the game as soon as, you know, something goes on in the world of football. I'm not claiming to be an expert or anything. But what I'm saying is, is that get behind him. You know, what more can you do than get behind him? As a fan of the club, you have to. Seriously, I've seen some of the stuff this week. And, you know, there's not a problem with having reservations. Don't get me wrong. All of you that have reservations about Mikel Arteta you know, and you would like a bigger appointment, bigger name, you feel that it's too much too soon given the situation we're in, that's fine, that's your opinion, that's absolutely no problem with that at all because fundamentally you will back him still. You've said that even though you have your reservations, that even though you're not sure whether it's going to work and it's a gamble, you will back him 100% and that's cool. But I've seen some people that have been posting comments and doing videos and whatnot, and they're saying that they won't back him at all, that they're not going to back him. What? Seriously, you call yourself a fan, and you're telling me that you're not going to back him before he's even managed the game. You ain't a fan, you're a prick. It's as simple as that. How can you not back a man when he hasn't even managed the game? Dickheads. I'm not having none of that shit, because that's not an opinion, that's bollocks. Simple as that. So... Yeah, like I said, there's so many good things that we can, you know, put Mikel Arteta's name to that have happened at Manchester City. Like I said, if you haven't watched this documentary on Man City, go watch it. Amazon Prime, I'm telling you, go and watch it. It really will open your eyes. And like I said, don't get me, you know, confused here. I'm not saying that all of a sudden because he was Pep Guardiola's assistant and Manchester City done everything, we're going to be... Man City, he's going to be Pep Guardiola 2.0 and all of this. I'm saying that he's done a lot behind the scenes and the people and the powers that be who know more than all of us believe in Mikel Arteta. And if they believe in him, then us as fans need to believe in him. 
Some of the biggest managers in the game have spoke about Mikel Arteta. Before he actually went to Man City, Maurizio Pochettino wanted him to be assistant at Spurs. So you're talking managers and people, like I said, that have been in the game and know the game, that respect this man, that talk about this man. You know, I've seen an interview as well from Hector Bellerin um, from a few years ago when Mikel Arteta was a player and they were doing, you know, teammate questions and stuff like that. And Hector Bellerin was saying about Mikel Arteta and what he's like and how demanding he is. That's when he was a player. They asked him who he feels within the current squad could be a manager, Mikel Arteta. You look at some of the quotes from 2015 from Mikel Arteta as well on Arsenal.com. And he says that he wants his team and his players to have 120% commitment, that there's no room for error, etc, etc. Read these quotes, see for yourself. I know the proof is in the pudding and it's very easy to say these things, but give him a chance. Honestly, that's all I'm asking. That's all I'm going to say on the matter. Mikel Arteta is the new Arsenal manager. I'm happy about it. I do have my reservations. Yes, it's a gamble, but I'm going to back him 110%. And I urge all you to do exactly the same. Back him 110%. Let's go and try and climb up this table. We know it's going to be hard. We know this season is near enough a write-off, but let's get behind him. You know, his staff that he brings in, whether Freddie remains, etc, etc. Let's all get behind him. So, welcome back to Arsenal, to Mikel Arteta. He's played here, he's captained here, and now he is the new manager. So, like I said, welcome back to Arsenal. And I'm praying this works out because I'm going to get behind him 110%. And we will see where it goes. So if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button, smash a like on this video. And I will see you a lot soon. I'm out of here.